Hello and welcome along to British Brass Band and this is my YouTube channel all about my bass trombone journey and my absolute love of brass banding. So I've actually got an iPad because I've actually decided to actually write some notes down so I'm a little bit organised um, during this vlog. So this is just a little update and um, I've got some more constructive videos to come so I just thought I'd give you an update where I've been, what I've been doing for the last few weeks. So first of all, I know it's the 3rd of February today, as I'm filming this, um, but Happy New Year. Hope you all had a really good Christmas and you know all the best for 2024. So it's been a really, really busy time for me. Um, what I'm discovering is, as a bass drum burnist, I, I've since been in demand and the, the only requirement is that you own a bass drum burn and you can blow down it. No one seems to ask what you, your capabilities or anything like that. Um, and I've had a really busy December. So in December, um, I did 15 gigs, a mixture of gigs and uh, Christmas caroling sessions with the Owl Band, so the East Riding of Yorkshire Band. Uh, I played alongside my dad um, in Beverly Brass Band. And also I did quite a few sessions with the Salvation Army, so the local local call which was which was quite special really. it's just nice to do some caroling and you know raise some money for a great great cause um on reflection i think it was too much because I, I did a lot a lot i was out a lot i think one one day i did four gigs in a four sessions of caroling gigs in one day so it was um, a pretty busy one but it was good just good to get some good sight reading i mean some of those christmas carols in the salvation army carol block are hard because there's six seven flats on bass trombone so they are just a little bit of a nightmare but it was just good good sight reading and the two concerts that i did with beverly alongside my dad was a great opportunity to just develop my sight reading because some of those pieces i was sight reading them on stage during a concert so that it was absolutely fantastic i don't think i'll be as busy next year but um we'll see we'll see um something else i've been doing recently as well is, is booking and seeing bands i think as a musician it's really really useful to go and see some bands and musicians who are at the top flight of brass banding so uh, later uh, towards the end of last year i went to see black dyke band at selby abbey and i was just absolutely blown away i'd never seen them before I'd not really seen many big bands before i'd seen grindfall before but that was it i went to see black dyke and it just blew me away um the just the precision the use of dynamics the accuracy was just absolutely outstanding and I, I came away not feeling like I didn't feel deflated like you maybe feel like if you felt oh I'll never be that good but more inspirational and it made made me want to work harder on, on my trombone and improve my my playing ability um I booked tickets straight away for another concert um so I treated my, my dad to um black bike tickets um, for, for, for Christmas and went to go and see him the week and I've also booked tickets to go and see Fairy Band and Big House of Trick. and last Friday I went across to the famous Dobcross Band so for me it was about an hour and 45 minute drive but 100% worth it it was really warmly welcomed along and it was just such a cool venue it's got a lot of history and there were two bands playing which was uh, Big House and Rastrick and there was Brass Band um, 13 Italy, I think that's how you pronounce it. So it translates to 13 stars. And it's a, there were Swiss Band and there were the, there's the current Nash, uh, European champions. So Brighouse did 45 minutes and this band did 45 minutes. And I got to see um, the absolutely amazing Lionel Vermeer, I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, doing a bass on burn set called Fly or Die. <laughs> Honestly, it just blew me away. It was unbelievable um, to hear somebody playing bass trombone to that level and again massively massively inspiring i'm 
making it a mission now to go and see all of the big bands over the next um, few months this year. Um, like I said, I've booked to see Black Dyke again. I've booked to see Brigars from Asterix. I've booked to see Fairy Band because I think it's really interesting to hear um, the difference in sound from all these different bands. And also, it's a great networking opportunity. It's just good to speak to some of these members because they're very approachable. They're really normal people. Um, and they've just all got an absolute passion for, for brass banding and it's just good to be in, in just good company really and usually people who are at these concerts you know feel the same way as well so if you get the opportunity to go and see a top band definitely go and do it and i think it's it's massively beneficial to your playing so i've got that obviously i've made, i've mentioned before that i'm going to the international brass band summer school in july so really really excited about that so again i've been working alongside some of the members from Black Dyke, so I'm really excited about that opportunity. Um, I think the biggest thing that's happened recently was I went for a lesson with a quite a well-known um, bass trombonist, um, and it was, I've had lessons before with trombonists, but this was a bit different because it's this bass trombonist who was a specialist, and it, it, it opened my eyes, um, and it made me really readjust how I play the instrument and it's not going to be an easy journey it's going to be quite a quite a long journey to fix things um maybe fix things is the wrong word just develop things and and um, understand the mechanics of my body and how it relates to the instrument and that's I think the biggest um thing I got so I spent three hours um roughly and went through just the basics just thinking about posture thinking about breathing thinking about note production as well um, and also how to use one of these practice mutes get it on camera um, as a practice aid and it was really interesting and I've, I've come away with kind of like like I've hit a big reset so I'm thinking about these steps so uh, it's, it's very fluid and it's all about feel but it's just understanding if you understand how to breathe how to hold the instrument it does influence things massively and it already after a couple of rehearsals back with the band after this um, lesson I, it, it, the difference is noticeable so I'm going to continue with um, what I've learned and try and implement it as much as I can in all the music that I play and going forward, hopefully get some more lessons and then you know, gradually improve over the next few months and probably years. So that's all I wanted to do really, was just have a quick update. Um, I've got coming up on the channel, I'm gonna actually break down some of these things that I learned. So I'm gonna do a little bit on posture, uh, on breathing, on note production, um, how to use a practice mute um, as a learning tool, um, in addition to just using it to quieten the instrument down. I'm going to be going into my grade six preparation because I've decided I'm going to take my grade six um, and also a bit about my prep for the uh, National Brass Band Championships so for our area final which is happening in March. Terrified about that because it's not going to be my first one on bass trombone but I'm just looking forward to the channel. So I'm going to leave it there for, the, for now and we will see you when I get my next video out which will guarantee it'll be quicker than this one came out because this was a little bit slow anyway hope you have a great week month whenever how long it is before i do another video and keep playing